Hey guys, it's um, Dr. Soloway, mobile office time, uh, giving a presentation. No, I'm giving an award tonight. I, I, get, I made a scholarship. Uh, the Dr. Soloway scholarship goes to the top radiology student and the top nursing student over at uh, Cumberland Community College, where I'm a professor. Um, again, I'm sorry for the bad, uh, just you know, the, the glare and all that. It's uh, it's about three million degrees and sunny here on Mars, um, so I apologize. So a couple of things: a few people asked where I'm located. I'm located in Vineland, New Jersey. Yeah, I've also been asked, you know, can I manage and treat people from all over the world? Uh, you know, the answer is I do, and I and I have patients from all over the world. But keep in mind. You know, if you're somebody that lives all over the world, um, I don't know how you're going to get to the office all the time. So I think the best way for those people who, you know, want my advice is, you know, we should set up some ideas. I've already spoke to my manager about this. And essentially what we're going to do is we'll have to block out some time or we'll have to do something where I can do... Um, you know, maybe like a live video or something, and in the live video, I just go one-on-one -on -one with um, whoever. Anyway, so I'm running late here, and I have to give this presentation or award, but I um, want to do a quick video on um, Wegener's granulomatosis, uh, currently known as granulomatous polyangiitis, or GPA. Um, a handful of years ago, uh, there was an antibody discovered. It's called ANCA or anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibody. There's two types. There's the myeloperoxidase. Anti well, there's actually more than two types, but for our for our uh, conversation, there's two types. There's the myeloperoxidase, and there is the um, PR3 antibody. So you have MPO, Mary, Paul, Oscar, MPO, and PR3, Peter, Ralph, uh, three as in the number three. Um, so, when you order your ANCA test, you want to make sure your doctor doesn't just order the um, ANCA by ELISA, I'm sorry, the ANCA immunofluorescent assay. You want to make sure that the MPO and the PR3 are ordered by um, uh, ELISA. So, you order these tests when you're having a suspicion that there is a systemic underlying vasculitic condition so the ANCA vasculitides fall under the category of small vessel vasculitis. Um, the, um, the typical classical features and presentation for GPA, which I'll call Wegener's for you guys, Wegener's granulomatosis, is um, the triad is upper respiratory, lower respiratory, and kidney. So when you think of this, you think, well, upper and lower respiratory, so that's your sinuses and your lungs and your kidney. So when you hear of the hepatic renal, I'm sorry, the pulmonary renal syndromes, in addition to lupus, in addition to cryoglobulins, there's other types of vasculitis, but uh, the one that comes to mind often is this one, GPA, uh, granulomatous polyangiitis. And um, so how do you make the diagnosis? You have somebody who comes in with a runny nose for six months. You have somebody who has concurrent pneumonia in both lungs. You have nodules in the lungs, you have hemorrhage from the lungs, you have uh, blood and protein in the urine, you have kidney failure. That's common, but these people can have arthritis, they can have rashes. And uh, how do you know if the arthritis is related? Well, the arthritis has to be inflammatory, the rash has to be biopsied. Um, things have to add up. So if you have this person who's got a classic presentation and they have a very strong positive uh, antibody titer for um, uh, gosh, uh, PR3 by ELISA, you know, there's a very strong likelihood the patient does have GPA. However, there can be false tests. Um, there can be other things that cause this. Um, a big one would be cocaine. In fact, in cocaine, there's another um, antibody, the anti-elastase antibody, which is one of the ANCA antibodies. So that's just one example of another antibody. Um... Gosh. Um, <laughs> so, moving right along, you know, any organ in the body can involve any vasculitic disease. But again, this one is defined by um, a positive biopsy, the positive blood test, uh, or, or, you know, you can have a positive arteriogram or a CT angiogram. If you see classic vasculitis, 
and it's involving the paranasal sinuses the uh, or destruction of the sinuses or the nasal membranes um, um, lung disease whether it's a ground glass lung or interstitial or alveolar or um, pneumonias nodules anything I named before uh, pulmonary hemorrhage alveolar hemorrhage um, uh, kidney disease, namely acute renal failure, um, blood and protein in the urine, casts in the urine. This is very important to make the correct diagnosis because the treatment options today are excellent. Uh, um, we, we start the people who look sick on prednisone and then when we have a diagnosis we immediately we have a choice. We give them cytoxan or rituximab. I'll tell you that I still use cytox cytoxan or cyclophosphamide for the first six months uh, some people could use rituximab. Um, it so happens in the trial that was uh, used or whatever that made um, rituximab hit the map as, the, as an equal treatment. So two statements. One, it's called a non-inferiority non -inferiority study. So it doesn't say that um, rituxan is better. It simply says it's not worse than cytoxan. The other thing to know about that study that's very important is people with bad kidney disease. Um, creatinine of around three, they were excluded from the rituxan group. So, in reality, uh, clearly rituxan works, there's no question. However, I, I shoot for cytoxan on the first six months, then after that I use my uh, maintenance with rituximab. Uh, you can use other drugs, you can use Imuran, you can use Bactrim, uh, for very subtle cases, uh, back from the antibiotic, although I don't like that because people often mix it with methotrexate, and then you have bone marrow failure, so we don't want that. So, uh, there's more to talk about, much more uh, following anchor titers and what do they mean, if they mean anything, uh, what do you follow, how long do you treat for, what are some signs to look for, for not only recurrence, but what are some uh, medication side effects like the cytoxan, what can it cause long term. So I've just given you ideas for a million more lectures, but I gotta go give the uh, top radiology student their uh, check and their congratulations. And uh, by the way, I hope you guys like my shirt. You know, everyone complains I wear blue too much. So today is, um, what is it, Purple Thursday. So it's Purple Thursday. I'm here at the Cumberland County Community College. Um, okay, I've rambled enough. Have a great day.